Willard's decision to stay at Western Kentucky University. And that was made in the form of a press release, and we thought it might be appropriate to follow that with an opportunity for Coach Willard to meet with you and talk with you and, and uh, answer your questions. We've had a great year. We're at the, after three years, we've made a, a major leap forward, no pun intended, in our program. Uh, Coach Willard has brought in the kinds of athletes that we want here. He's put together the kind of program that we want at Western Kentucky University, one of high integrity, as, one, as well as one that wins. Put all that together and it seems like a winning combination. <coughs> We're delighted that uh, those in the community have stepped forward to make sure that the uh, compensation package for uh, the coaching head men's basketball coaching position at Western Kentucky University is now on a competitive level, one that is competitive in today's marketplace for programs like ours. And uh, I can't uh, express enough the gratitude from this institution to those in this community who have stepped forward to assist us in this way. It's making a difference in our program. It will make a difference in our program for the long term. Uh, not only are we delighted that uh, Coach Willard and his staff are going to stay at Western Kentucky University and help us move forward, but I think it provides a continuity that we've all been looking for within our program. Uh, someone said the other day, it's nice to know that Western Kentucky University is back on the basketball floor, and I think we are. So let me call forward now the uh, gentleman who is, going to, who is uh, responsible for bringing us back for getting us in this, in this position, let you ask questions. Uh, let me say on the front end that uh, two things. One, uh, if you see me ease out the back door, it's not a lack of interest. I've got a meeting in Glasgow that's going to start in about 45 minutes, and I've got to be there. And secondly, uh, Coach Willard is uh, on the road this morning early. He's delayed that in order to uh, facilitate this press conference. Uh, he's going after uh, uh, another top recruit, so we don't want to delay that. So it'll be a, a brief uh, encounter here this morning, but uh, Coach Willer will direct that in terms of his schedule. So Ralph, come forward, please. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Uh, three years ago, I, I stood, uh, I'm not sure it was in this room, I think it was downstairs, but I stood uh, before a group similar to this and said I was extremely honored and proud to be the uh, head basketball coach at West Kentucky University. I feel the same way today. Um, looking at, uh, at where we were then and where we are now, uh, I'm very pleased and, and proud of the progress this program has made. And uh, that progress has been made and will continue to be made by uh, basically following one basic guideline and that is we will put the total growth and development of the student athlete as our main focus. Uh, we will have the academic, the social, and the personal growth of our student athletes as our main focus. And we will continue to recruit the quality of, of young people that we've had the privilege to have in this program over the past three years. Uh, I want to say that uh, I really am, have been uh, extremely touched by the, uh, the depth of uh, letters and phone calls and, and uh, support that have surfaced within the university and within the community. Um, it's almost been to the point of being overwhelming and uh, in discussing it with Dr. Meredith and with some other people, uh, you know, I, I just want to make a point because I think this is central to what, what we all have to understand, uh, certainly something that I understand, and that is that this program must and can stand on its own, uh, that Ralph Willard is simply a steward of this program during my tenure here, and that tenure may be uh, 10 years, it may be five years, it may be 
maybe 20 years, I, I don't know about that, but it, 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 for as long as I'm here, I'm the steward of this program. And this program and this university has the merit and it has the uh, resources to stand on its own. And that's important to understand. Uh, but I want to thank everybody in the community for the depth of support that they, they've showed us and the program. Uh, this has been a special year for a number of reasons, uh, but primarily because I think Western Kentucky University now for the uh, first time in, in, in a while has, as Dr. Meredith said, has received the national recognition that we sought to uh, achieve for the university when uh, we first came here. And it's been the kind of recognition that uh, has brought a great deal of pride and honor to this university. Uh, I have literally gotten hundreds of newspaper articles from every uh, area of the country, from Los Angeles to New York to Washington, D.C. To, to Chicago, not talking about the basketball accomplishments of West Kentucky University and its basketball team, but really describing the attitude, the enthusiasm, and the emotion, and the togetherness with which this group of young men have, have played all year, and especially in the NCAA tournament. Uh, this is a special group of, of, uh, of people, and like I said, I've been, I've been very privileged to have the opportunity to coach them. It's been uh, said in the papers and in some news releases that, uh, <clears throat> that I have had uh, uh, some frustrations over the past three years. I just want to make some things clear. One, uh, I have not had a problem with any particular person or persons at this university. Uh, whenever you come into a new situation, the first thing you look for is a, uh, is a sense of, of vision. Uh, you look for a sense of community. And I've used that word a lot. And I think that's been misinterpreted by some people to think that I'm talking about the, the community of Bowling Green or the, or the community strictly of this university. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a sense of togetherness, of being part of a team, of understanding that uh, we are all in this together to help make this the best university it can possibly be, to make this the best community it can possibly be. I think there's one thing we've learned uh, from, this, from this year is that with that sense of community, you can accomplish just about anything. As long as you have, and we live by this basic rule with our basketball team, we have no excuses. We give ourselves no excuses for failure or success, okay? We always try and do things which distinguish and separate us from a work ethic standpoint from those people that we are competing with and against. And the third thing is we care about one another very, very deeply. And I think that's the kind of environment that I want to be in. And uh, I feel confident after talking to Dr. Meredith and to uh, other people that we, that we are starting to have that type of environment here. Uh, and if we do have that type of environment and we continue to all work hard in that area, then I think this program can continue to progress and sustain the national position that we've achieved this year. Because that to me is the important part. I want to coach at, a, at an institution uh, that has that sense of community and that has the opportunity to be a nationally competitive university program year after year after year. So I'm extremely uh, excited and pleased to stand here today. I'm looking forward to the challenges that we face to continue the growth of this program. And uh, I just uh, appreciate the opportunity that's been afforded me. If anybody has any questions, I'd be happy to address them. Coach, uh, how long term is this? I understand that. The HAF put together a five-year plan. Uh, how long term is this commitment to stay? Uh, the commitment is to stay, as I said, for as long as I feel that the progress that we as, a, uh, as an institution and a program uh, can continue to make. And, uh, you know, I, I don't believe in putting, uh, I don't believe in putting uh, limits or uh, time periods on, on anything that you do. Uh, but just let me say this, if you look at my history, I have not been a person who has moved around a great deal. Uh, I believe that we can get this job done. I believe that there's a commitment here to get it done. 
And as long as we continue to make progress, I'll probably stay here until people ask me to leave. Is there a contract extension through any set year? Would that be fair to say? Yeah, the thing that we've talked about, and nothing is in writing yet, and nothing has been improved, uh, uh, but the, the, we talked about a five-year, uh, you know, uh, commitment. But I believe the state of Kentucky only allows you to have a four-year contract, so it would be for four years. Well, Ralph, it's not going to be 350, 400, probably, what other universities have been talking about offering you. Could, could this thing here be an annual thing? <laughs> Dave, you know, it's interesting. You know what's interesting to me? Um, this profession is interesting in a lot of ways, but, but the main thing that's interesting to me is that you now money has become a central focus of this thing, and I've stated from the very beginning that money was, was never the central focus. But I, I think it's interesting. I saw the student newspaper yesterday, and it said a richer Willard decides to stay. Uh, when I got this job, it was never, I never saw the headline, a poorer Willard accepts this job. <laughs> Because when I, you know, when I came to the state of Kentucky, I had what most people would consider a, a, a sizable amount of money in the bank and no obligations of any sort, no car loans, no home loans, no nothing. I now have, uh, you know, loans and, and obligations that total over three hundred thousand dollars and no money in the bank. And you can check my bank if you want to verify that. But I never saw that headline when I came. I've always tried to live my life and, and, and make decisions on my life based on one thing: what are the opportunities to success for success. That's what I've always tried to base my, my and what, again, what type of environment are we, going, are we going to be in? What type of environment? And, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I think maybe, uh, you know, I'm, when and if this, uh, you know, when it, when it comes to, uh, when the, the contract is drawn up and when it's signed, I think that one of the things that really is, I think, will come to service that's unique in this contract is that I have asked for certain things to allow me to help this program and this university uh, move forward. And, uh, but I'm not at a liberty to discuss those things now. When you, when you talked about a sense of community, did, did you feel like perhaps everybody in the athletics department was not of the same agenda or something like that? Can you explain that a little bit? Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't limiting my my uh, my sense of that, that statement to the athletics department in any way. I was talking about the university in general. You know, I think the pride of the students is very, very important. For uh, you know, people talk about attendance at, at basketball games or whatever. That's just a reflection of the pride of the student body in their university in general. And uh, I think that's important. I think we've made great progress in that area. I think students are, are, are getting a, 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 more, a better sense of pride in their university. People are going to come to basketball. You know, I was put in a paper, I guess, uh, yesterday that uh, when Mike Krzyzewski went to Duke that there wasn't, you know, a great deal of following at Duke. That's not true. Duke had drawn great crowds, you know, when they, when they were losing, uh, when they were winning five or six basketball games because there was a great sense of pride by the student body and the university in general. That's what, I, that's what I was referring to here by the sense of community. And it doesn't just, you know, limit, I'm not limiting that statement just to the athletics department. With the money and the fan support coming in the program now, do you think this job is now comparable to, to most jobs around the country? And do you see this job as one where you can meet your personal ambitions? Yeah, I don't think you can compare any particular institution's position to any other, you know, situation. I don't think you can do that. What I, what I see here is an opportunity uh, to continue to build this program to a, a point where it is, again, nationally prominent. Uh, that's what's important. And there's going to be some, obviously, some things that have to be addressed to continue that, that growth. Uh, but I see a willingness and a commitment on the part of the, of the community in general and the administration to, uh, to address those things. So therefore, I'm extremely positive about the possibility.